Hi, this is Arshadina. Today we will show you how to manage reimbursement for your business using the WordPress ERP. It's an all-in-one enterprise resource planning tool for WordPress. The WordPress ERP has four independent modules, Human Resource Management, Customer Relationship Management, Project Manager, and Accounting. The WordPress ERP allows you to issue reimbursement as an admin and as an employee. So be sure to enable the accounting module and install the reimbursement plugin. Let's start. To issue a reimbursement receipt as an admin, go to your accounting dashboard and click on the reimbursement tab. Then click on New Reimbursement. Set the employee's name. Then set the payment method, the amount you wish to pay, and the payment resource option for making payment. Be sure to also set the voucher type and the date. When you are done, click on Save. And there you have it. Your reimbursement dashboard will be updated. You can click on the voucher number for more information. This page further lets you print and send this information as an email. Employees can also create a reimbursement invoice. An employee has to log in to the WordPress dashboard, then navigate to the WordPress ERP and click on HR. Then the employee must click on the reimbursement tab in the HR dashboard. Now click on the New Receipt button to create a reimbursement receipt. Provide all the necessary information required such as date, amount, or a message to make a comment on the payment. If you want, you can attach a file for further insight into the payment. When you are done, click on Save. Employees will be able to see the receipt from their own reimbursement dashboard. As an admin, reimbursement requests made by your employees need to be verified and approved. To do so, head back to the Accounting Dashboard and click on Request under the Reimbursement tab. To complete the transaction, click on the Receipt Number, then click on the Pay Now button. You will see the new reimbursement page. Here, you need to add the payment method, payment from, voucher type, and the payment date. When you are done, hit the Save button to finish. It's important to check if the payment has been successful. You can verify both as an admin and as an employee. To verify as an employee, click on the Reimbursement tab of your HR dashboard then check if the status of your reimbursement is set to close just under the status column. This indicates the payment has been completed. To verify as an admin, click on Request under the Reimbursement tab of your accounting dashboard. Then check if the status of your reimbursement receipt is set to close just under the status column. This indicates the payment has been completed. If you accidentally paid an extra amount, you can rectify this mistake very easily. So if a reimbursement request is set to $10, but you mistakenly paid $11, just create a new reimbursement receipt. Set the employee's name, then set payment method, payment from, and set the amount which you paid extra. In this case, the amount paid is $1 more. Lastly, set the voucher type to credit. This is very important because this will even out the trial balance, therefore rectifying your mistake. When you are done, click on Save to finish.
And that is how you use the reimbursement feature for the WordPress ERP. If you are interested in features to automate your business operation, be sure to visit the WordPress ERP website to view other modules on Project Manager, Human Resource Management, Customer Relationship Management, and Accounting. That's it for now. Bye!